so you'll get a link in your email in the next few days. Also, I'm sharing a link you can use uh, to schedule a short demo with our team for more information. Without further ado, give Tomer a warm welcome. Hi, Tomer, how are you? It's nice to have you with us. Hi, uh, thank you for the, for the introduction. Um, I'm very excited to be here and thank you for everyone uh, who joined us. Uh, it's, it's great to see that so many people uh, are interested in, in this topic. Um, so today I'm going to uh, speak about the power of email signature marketing. Um, by the way, a side note, this is not email marketing. Uh, We're going to speak about uh, how to utilize this uh, real estate in the bottom of your uh, everyday business emails um, using uh, Wisetem and using uh, smart and uh, well uh, designed email signature. So uh, I'm uh, Tomer, the VP Sales uh, here at Wisetem. You can see uh, I, I presented myself uh, through my signature. Um, this is how it looks. And uh, now I'm going to show you and tell you all about it. Um, so a few words about Wisetemp. We are uh, around uh, pretty long. Uh, uh, we're here uh, since uh, 11 years ago um, with over uh, 1 million uh, users worldwide, um, thousands of companies uh, in uh, 176 countries. This uh, covers more or less uh, all over the, wor the world. Um, that's us. Now, before I start, I want to speak about emails. A uh, few, few years ago, there were a couple of surveys that uh, showed that uh, emails are going to die. Um, but this is not the case. And uh, recently, uh, there are a lot of new uh, statistics and, and that shows the, uh, the opposite. Um, you can see the chart on the left. This is the number of business emails uh, that are being sent uh, per day worldwide. You see that it's increasing rapidly. Um, studies show that uh, more than 60% of business professionals prefer email for, for business communication. 70% uh, of professionals use email to share industry-related information. And the most important number I'm gonna uh, speak about and uh, remember it uh, for later, it's the number of emails per day a typical employee sends for business purposes, which is between anywhere between 35 to 40 emails per day. So now, now let's let's dive to the math of business emails. So, for example, I I took a company with 100 employees uh, that each employee sends 35 emails per day, with 250 working days uh, per year. It means that your your company will generate almost 1 million emails per year. That's a lot. And if I, I take the statistics of how many times uh, people open email from a known contact, which are not uh, uh, email campaigns, which are actually a, a business email from, from someone they know, this is anywhere between two to three. So let's take the, the number two. It means that your emails will, uh, and you, the content in, inside will uh, appear on, on uh, uh, almost 2 million uh, times. Uh, this is 2 million impressions. Now, if I take a modest uh, CTR uh, rate uh, of 2.3, you can see that those uh, business emails that are being sent, uh, if you use them wisely and, and add a CTA button or something clickable, you can generate more than 40,000 40, uh, clicks. And now if, if I take the cost that it would, would have been cost us if, if we uh, used uh, tools like uh, Google or, or Facebook, uh, let's take the, this number 40,000 uh, clicks and uh, almost two, 2 million impressions, it would probably cost you around uh, $65,000 uh, and this is unused promotional value. This is the value you can uh, uh, create from utilizing your uh, emails using email signature campaigns. <clears throat> so before before I'll show uh, you how to unlock the potential, uh, Danielle, do we have any questions so far? Um, yes, we do. We have from Daniel. Uh, where did you get these stats from? 
Um, so th these are uh, very uh, known statistics. You can uh, Google it, the number of emails uh, that are being sent per day uh, from, of employees, business emails, and the uh, average uh, CPC and CPM cost uh, in, the, in the US. Okay, and we just uh, we have a question from Natalie. Um, you guys will all get a recording of this webinar as well as uh, an ebook, and uh, that's it. Certainly, we'll send you everything uh, afterwards. Uh, you'll have it all uh, in your email. Um, so be before we we speak about the solution uh, and about the problem, let's speak about how uh, an email signature for marketing purposes should look like. What are the components? Um, so of course there are there are all, all of the technical details: employee name, employee title, uh, company logo, contact details, social media icons. Super important. Uh, and we're we're gonna speak about how you are uh, how you can utilize each of these uh, components. And and of course uh, you can see below that there is a marketing CTA, uh, which is the the banner below. Uh, that we can uh, add in your signature and of course you can change it uh, on a regular basis uh, we'll we'll get to that um one bonus tip this is something most of our uh, clients we see that the, they they love uh, is editing this handwritten signature for an extra dynamic touch uh, especially if it's uh, animated it looks very good and it attracts the eye Another bonus tip, and this is something, a trend from uh, recent years that a lot of companies love to uh, add GIFs uh, to animate uh, either their logos or the banner below. This is something that attracts the eye and, uh, and uh, bring more uh, people to look at your signature and to look at the messaging you, you want to uh, send through it. Um, so wh why is it so hard? Why can't all of our employees look like this. Uh, I put here, I collected a couple of uh, examples of uh, bad email signatures. Um, you can see uh, one with the uh, long titles, a lot of text, looks very bad. Uh, whether it's different fonts, it doesn't look good. Um, wrong picture, inappropriate picture. Um, and and of course uh, something technical like uh, this one below on the left uh, that you can see that is just uh, apparently uh, the the formatting is uh, is bad and uh, it it breaks when you send it uh, to somewhere. Um, so all of the all of these uh, are I guess consequence of a lack of control of our employees' emails. Uh, our uh, problem as marketers in this uh, uh, field is that we don't have any control uh, unless we use uh, uh, tools that I'll show you. But the 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 starting point is that we have no zero control over uh, emails that are being sent from our employees, and uh, we we can either uh, chase them and send them uh, templates. Again, they can uh, implement it, implement them or not but we have no control. And, and then if we want to do something more sophisticated, like uh, writing a code or uh, creating something dynamic, we need the, the IT department to implement it throughout the organization. And we all know that uh, IT departments are very busy and uh, their attention to uh, marketing needs are uh, limited uh, to say the least. Um, and this is why uh, our tool uh, can uh, help you with that. Um, a lot of manual work. We see a lot of uh, clients of ours that uh, showed us what they did before uh, before we met them. So they were building a, a template or two templates and, and started to build a signature to each one of their employee and then send, send it to them uh, and ask them to copy and paste. And then they need to check that they did actually did it. This is a lot of manual work. Um, what about new employees? Uh, how do we uh, uh, make sure that each of uh, new our new employees will have the, the correct signature? Another challenge. <laughs> and again, uh, maybe every department wants a different signature uh, and not uh, the same. Uh, it's, it's not a one size fits all. 
Um, so these are the, the main uh, challenges. And now let's speak about the solution. Um, so why stamp solution and the other, by the way, other email signature managers uh, off, are offering uh, this solution that first of all, will make all of your employees to look the same. It drives consistency see, for the brand, no more old logos, no more uh, the, the wrong titles, wrong address. It, it allows you to uh, have the entire organization to look consistent and professional. Um, the next one is uh, control. I already spoke about it. You have full control. You can put your messaging, you can, can put your designs, and it gives you the full control. You don't need the IT, you don't need the employees. It will just be automatic and you will be 100% in control. Um, design options. We have a lot of design options uh, that allows you to, to take this uh, simple thing as signature and, and make it as something very, very uh, uh, appealing and, and uh, allows you to, to insert your messaging, whether it's uh, using the creative, using the colors, using banners or email apps, I'll show you later. But uh, we have a lot of uh, design options. Automation. I spoke about uh, the challenge of uh, new employees. So the automation, our automations allow you to uh, implement this automatically. You can even uh, choose to uh, auto inject, auto create and inject a signature to every new employee you have without anything you need to do. It will just generate a new signature for him and will inject it to his email with his details, of course. Um, campaigns. We have a campaign feature that allows you to issue banner, beautiful banner campaigns that are clickable, that can uh, convert people to whatever you want, whether it's to drive tra traffic to your uh, social assets, whether it's to promote sales, and you can do it uh, on, on certain time frames. You can A-B test them. I'll show it later, but you can actually use it as another marketing channel. You can, by the way, use it uh, uh, to comply with the uh, other campaigns you're, you're launching in, in uh, different channels. And uh, of course, the la lastly, uh, analytics. We allow you to uh, add UTM code to your uh, uh, features in, inside the signature, and then you can track, track all the traffic that uh, the signatures of the emails that the employees are sending will generate to your company. And uh, again, we can show you how many people watched your, your brand. And this is, it shows you how many impression did you get for your messaging. So this is in a nutshell, this is our solution. Uh, and now let, let's speak about the uh, risks and uh, challenges. Um, so first of all, there is a, re a security risk. Uh, using such system uh, require, requires you to uh, integrate uh, sensitive systems like your Active Directory, uh, whether it's on uh, G Suite, Google Workspace, uh, Microsoft, Exchange, on-prem, on-cloud. So uh, uh, it's super important to choose a, a solution that will cover the, this risk. Um, more or less, your, your IT and security teams will not allow you to, uh, to use it. Um, and there are two uh, different. There are two different solutions. There is a email hosting solutions and non-email hosting solutions. Uh, Ystamp is a non-hosting solution. It means that we do we do not host the emails. We cannot see them. We cannot control them. We just inject the signature and that's it. If our servers are, are down, you will not have signature, but your emails will go uh, uh, as usual. Um, versus the other solution, which is the email hosting uh, solution, which uh, requires you require you to uh, send your email through a third party, which uh, which will uh, uh, inject the signature on his end, and then if if their servers are down, so you don't have uh, emails, you can send any emails, so that's a security risk. Integration, you need to know which email system uh, are you using. Um, is it uh, Google Workspace? Is it uh, uh, Office 365? 
um, in order to know which uh, which solution uh, you can use. Uh, by the way, Ystamp are uh, integrated into uh, all of the all of the system. You see, you can see below G Suite, uh, Microsoft Exchange, and we have a lot of uh, solutions for uh, other uh, scenarios. But it's worth mentioning. Um, strength. How will your signature look like in all email softwares and platform? This is a real pain point because uh, uh, with Ystamp, our code was built uh, throughout the years. I said 11 years, so it's almost uh, unbreakable. Uh, and but you need to make sure that this, the solution you choose will won't be break in in uh, scenarios. For example, if you send from uh, Gmail on your uh, uh, desktop, and the recipient has a, a I don't know he he's using Safari uh, with Mac. You need to make sure that uh, this uh, the email signatures will uh, will not break, and uh, our solution generates a rich HTML code that is uh, pretty much unbreakable. Um, spam issues. So the email signatures itself does not uh, uh, causing spam, but the content is. So it's important to to look uh, and to check that all the it it gives you a, a lot of place for content. And content is the, the the links you add uh, or the images you add. You need to make sure that uh, there will there is no uh, uh, broken links or uh, wrong images that will uh, cause the violation of uh, rules that will uh, eventually will send your emails to spam. Um, I'll speak about it in the end. How can you uh, make sure before you send the emails? Um, Daniel, before uh, I'll speak about usage and best practices, do you have any questions? Yes, we do. We have a question from Amanda, and she's asking, is the solution specific to Wisedown? Um, which which solution? In general. Yes. So what what I'm uh, I'm speaking about uh, email signature managers in general. Uh, with the specification of Ystamp, which is the leading uh, one uh, there, there is out there. Great. Um, we have another question from Mathijus. Um, why do you put your email address in the signature if people already know it? <laughs> that, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. Some, some companies uh, prefer to put it, uh, some not. Um, it, it really depends on uh, what you want to add. Some companies has uh, and people has different emails, maybe that they want to uh, they want to uh, highlight. But uh, definitely, it's not a must. It's a it's a possible way to to put this uh, data. For example, if you have a signature with uh, less content, then maybe you you'll want to put it so it it will look better. Um, but maybe you just uh, want to avoid that. <clears throat> okay perfect. thanks okay so let's continue now uh, i want to present uh, some usage use cases and best practices um, these are based on uh, millions of users we have and we we oversee uh, again thousands of companies uh, millions of different signatures and i tried to uh, to summarize or to shorten the best ones uh, and to present you which which usage you you want you can use it uh, for, and to show you some very cool examples. So, uh, for, first of all, the the I think uh, the most common usage uh, that we hear from our clients it's uh, brand awareness. Uh, you can see that we we run we ran a survey. We saw that 96% of our companies mentioned that their email signatures improved brand awareness, and and this is because the signature allows you to speak the brand. It's not only the logo. It's not only the banner. You can see that uh, in the the examples here, they actually speak the 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 brand, whether it's the the uh, text colors. Whether it's the you, we can also allow you to uh, have the social icons in your brand color. By the way, we we can uh, you can use your uh, specific hex code 
uh, that it, it will look uh, just the same. So brand awareness, it's the first one. Um, the second one uh, that is not uh, that is even more important uh, for some is drive more traffic. Again, if we have 100 uh, people in our company that sends emails, it's 2 million uh, uh, impressions, 1 million emails that are being sent. If you utilize them and put your social uh, uh, buttons, social icons, then you can drive more traffic to your social channels. Um, even we have the option, you can see here on the right hand, on, on the upper right hand, that we can uh, integrate your signature with your Instagram uh, gallery. And then you have the picture here, it's a realtor with, uh, with his listings, but you can, uh, and it will change according to your uh, Instagram uh, account, a pretty cool feature. Um, the next one is uh, to drive more leads. Um, you can see my signature here. I put this banner because I wanted uh, to drive people to book uh, the webinar, to come to my webinar. I can use it. Of course, each banner, each feature we have, you can route it to uh, your social, uh, uh, your social platforms or to a landing page, and to drive more leads. This is another way. The next one is to drive more sales. So whether, whether you're a retailer or you have a, you have an Amazon shop, uh, you can use it to drive more sales. You can see on the bottom uh, right example, um, they promoted the Black Friday sale and they even added a, a link with a coupon to, to actually drive people to, to buy, uh, to buy uh, things. And you have another example of uh, check out my uh, Amazon shop. Um, again, this is a sales department benefit from adding these promotional elements as another, again, a, another marketing tool. This is a very important uh, and, and interesting uh, usage that we, we learn about it uh, from our clients um, that a, a lot of, a lot of uh, I, I got a, a question, uh, I hear it a lot of times, uh, why do we need this? If we have, uh, uh, I don't know, 50% of the company, they only send emails inter internal. They don't so, uh, send the emails external. Um, and then we saw that the companies used it for improved employer branding. So actually, we have employees that are sending to each other uh, emails all the time. And if we, for example, uh, won the Glassdoor's best places to work for, so they will see it all the, all the day because they send the internal email all the time. It's super important uh, usage. And uh, by, by the way, the, this example, the bottom left one is of our, uh, uh, visit our mother company uh, that we won uh, such an award for the best places to work for. And our VP brand uh, immediately put this uh, to the company. Uh, we're a tech, tech company, so most of the employees are uh, developers, but again, they send emails all, all the day and see that they are working for the best one of the best places. So improve employer branding. Um, other use cases, uh, we have uh, recruiting. You can uh, drive people to your career site, social impact. Um, you can see this example. We, by the way, we have a, a gallery with uh, thousands of uh, pretty made, pretty pre-designed uh, banners with GIFs, with uh, a lot of uh, cool things like this. Uh, and, and you can use uh, your, your email signatures uh, for social impact, for uh, these kind of uh, messaging, uh, so also a very nice usage. And for customer support uh, teams, you, ca you can uh, use the signature in, uh, to send people to rate your service. Uh, we also have this uh, capability. Um, so, so how do we start? Um, and, and this is a recap. Uh, I, I will go over it uh, very briefly. So, uh, first of all, and, and you, we'll send it to you uh, later. You'll have it all. Um, first of all, include the essential branded signature information. Of course, uh, what uh, is related to your company needs. 
don't forget the CTA button. Something to drive people to your uh, digital assets. Uh, make your signature visually pleasing. Uh, use your brand color, structure it uh, hierarchically. Use a high quality image, this is important, so you, you look very good. Um, use white spec, and uh, we have a lot of tips here and in our, in our website. Ensure email signature consistency uh, throughout the entire organization. Of course, if you're using uh, Ystamp and integrated, it will be automatically. And technically validate your signature. It's important uh, that after you build and design a very beautiful signature, send it to your uh, to your uh, different kind of phones, send it to a different type of clients, uh, to Mac, to uh, Windows, and make sure it, it looks uh, good, it's mobile friendly, um, make sure you're using email safe fonts, this is a, a, an important one. There are fonts, uh, only a nine I think, nine or ten, that are that called web safe. So if you're using a, a, a font that is not web safe, what will happen? That you'll design the signature, it will look great, but then when you'll send it to a, to a, a recipient, it will look differently. For example, if you're using a non-website font and you send it to Outlook, it will appear as Times, Times New Roman. So this is also an important one. Uh, with Ystamp, we, we give you only website uh, font unless you want uh, something uh, different. Broken links, I already spoke about it uh, in, in the context of spam. Uh, what we recommend to do is after you build the signature, uh, use a spam spam checker. There are uh, free ones uh, in the internet, and send send uh, your email to it, and and make sure that uh, it's not uh, causing spam, and valid uh, your image. <clears throat> so uh, lastly, I'll I'll show you uh, on a, on a natural uh, Ystamp our solution. So this is how it looked. Ystamp uh, has uh, our our uh, product has. Uh, two uh, components with uh, three steps. First component is the designer. This is, uh, this is how you design your template. Um, you just uh, choose your, your template. Here you, you choose the template out of a lot of templates. Design, put the color, the size, play with it. And add the email apps, which are the CTA buttons. You see we, we added the banner. And this is very easy, very friendly. Anyone can use it. Uh, you don't need to be a designer. You don't need to be a developer. It's super friendly and super easy. Uh, so after we design the template or templates, if we want a different template for each department, uh, we get to the uh, manage users uh, part, employee, where, the, um, where, where we manage the employees. So after we integrate uh, with a couple of clicks to your Active Directory, uh, that could be either in uh, Google or uh, in uh, Microsoft, it pulls automatically all the employees' data and puts it here uh, on this dashboard. And then after, after you have all the employees' data, by the way, you can choose which data to sync, uh, the, the phone number, the address, whatever you have in your Active Directory. And then you allocate uh, the signature, the template, to each employee or to a bulk of employees. There are a lot of automations in, in this part. Uh, and you can, you can see here that each employee has a different uh, signature template. And now the next stage, when you activate them, what, what Ystamp will do, it will generate a signature to each one of the employees automatically based on two things. The first thing is their, their data from the Active Directory, name, title, email, what we want to be in the, in the signature and the template we built so it will generate a different signature to each one based on those on these two and we'll inject them uh, automatically to their email uh, so that once they compose an email it will appear uh, below you can see here for example we have daniel with uh, this kind of uh, template and uh, annika with a different template but it generated automatically they didn't need to do anything it's all automatic um, so for, for more information, you're welcome to uh, visit our website and our, our LinkedIn. We, we have a lot of content uh, with regards to uh, marketing, to email, market, email signature marketing. We have a lot of uh, templates 
to see and to be inspired uh, from. Um, yes, and uh, let's let's uh, hear some questions now. All right, so we have a question from Darren. Uh, isn't your code spam optimized? No, our code does not uh, uh, cause causing spam. It's uh, it won't cause spam. What can be uh, can cause spam? It's the content inside the signature. Our signature will, will is uh, has zero effect on, over the the spam. Only the content inside. Okay. Uh, and we have another question from Phyllis. Uh, does this work on Outlook? Yes, of course. It works on all, all of the email platforms and clients. Okay. Um, we have a question from Dina. What kind of permission does a system like yours require? So we, uh, as as I mentioned, since we are uh, uh, we're not hosting the emails, so our solution is very uh, is is not intrusive. We only uh, pull the data from Active Directory. And we inject the signature into uh, into the emails, so it's uh, we we cannot see the emails, we cannot uh, send on your behalf, we cannot see the content, we see we cannot see the the recipient. We just have a permission to inject the signature to the signature box, whether it's uh, Google or or Microsoft, and we have the the permission. We take the permission to read your uh, uh, details in the Active Directory. By the way, we have, uh, we can, we have also a solution there with the, they are uh, permissionless for companies that it's more important uh, for them to not to share uh, the information or not to auto inject the signatures. We have a solution for, for that as well. Okay, and we have another question from Grace. Uh, where do, we find the analytics for banners and other signature items. So we, we have, uh, I, I didn't show it, but uh, we have uh, an analytics uh, uh, tab where you can see all of your, uh, per, all of the performance in terms of, uh, of uh, impressions, how many times people saw your, uh, your signatures. And we we allow you to uh, to uh, choose which UTM you you put for every signature, so you can track this uh, in your Google Analytics. We cannot see uh, clicks because again we we don't see the content of your uh, emails. Um, just before before we continue with the questions, I put here the a link uh, if you want to meet us in person uh, with our team. Uh, so feel free to. Uh, to book a short meeting and then uh, our, my team can uh, validate uh, the solution for, for your company and to show you how how will it look. Um, yes, please continue, Daniel. Okay, so we have a question from Mark. Um, how do you get those animated banners for your um, for your calendar? Yeah, so so we have all of them are available for you in the banner gallery. We have a feature that's called pre-designed uh, banners. You can find there, uh, I think, uh, more than a thousand different banners, uh, according uh, different banners for uh, different purposes, for uh, different holidays. Uh, you have a lot of them, uh, including my, uh, the one that I use. Okay. Um, and we have another question from Anthony. Uh, how many different templates uh, can we design? It's limitless. You can uh, you can build as many as you like, and uh, technically you can even build a different template to each employee. But uh, it's limitless. We have a lot of companies that uh, utilize this. For example. Uh, Real estate uh, businesses, they, they like to, they are utilizing usually a lot of uh, different templates. Um, and we have companies that just want the, the same uh, template for everyone. But uh, you can, you can uh, do as many as you like. Okay, great. Um, unfortunately, uh, our time is up. Um, there are so many more questions, but uh, we will leave a link in uh, the chat box and you guys can uh, contact us 
um, via that. Um, thank you all for joining. I hope you found this webinar productive. I invite you to check out our website for more information. Again, I apologize for the time limit, um, but feel free to schedule a meeting with one of our sales reps through the link that we publish um, in the chat box, and they will be happy to assist you. Uh, visit our LinkedIn page for more information regarding upcoming webinars, and I hope to see you all next time. Have a good one. Thank you very much, everyone.